this morning is what is being done locally upstream ahead of the jail to make the overall system more efficient and make our community work more effectively. So I'm going to use a little chart here to help us think about the criminal justice system in general. Now, if you all are interested in deeply understanding how the criminal justice system works, County Attorney Twido has developed an incredible graphic that he provided to the CJOC, the legislature, to show how people move through the system. And you can get that. It's on the legislature's website. It's worth looking at. This is a model, what you see in front of you, is a model created by the Federal Substance Abuse and Mental Health <coughs> Administration. It is designed to help communities map the points where we can have interventions in the criminal justice system, largely for people who are engaged in the justice system with co-occurring mental health or substance abuse disorders. And even with the spike of very violent crimes in this community, this is still the overwhelming majority of crimes in this community being driven by substance abuse and mental health. So you can see that this maps out here each of the places where local leaders, local organizations can intercept and either improve services for efficiency or divert people out of the system. So since this was released um, close to a decade ago, communities all over the country, including Billings, have been mapping available services against this intercept map to identify what we can do differently or what we can do better.